Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. Hello and welcome to Bowtie Life. This is not intended to be an instructional video, just more of a celebration of a long-awaited task. We uh, This uh, arch trellis you can see over to the right here, our youngest son and his uh, wife were did their vow renewal under this a year ago, this month. And it has been sitting in our living room <laughs> since then to get a uh, clear coat, which it got with all the projects I did recently and uh, it's ready to be set outside. So here uh, I've got some of those uh, quick crete cement tubes. Now these are actually leftover pieces from another project. Uh, they come in four foot tubes and uh, if I was doing anything more than the, just this little arch trellis I might use longer tubes but this is just a very small uh, arch trellis. It's not going to catch any wind. In fact it's going to be held in place by those grapevines here pretty soon. So I'm digging them in and leveling them out. You'll see here in a minute that I'm, I'm uh, using the level to make sure that these four footings are going to be as level as I can make them. And like you can see there, it's a little low. So I throw in a little extra sand in there to, to uh, bring it up some and then I'll pat it down in the middle to put it together. And so I went through all four of the corners and put this thing together, ready to go and made sure it was all level which it was and uh, I oh and so I'm packing the sand around the tube on that one and uh, I forgot to do that here on the others and you'll see how I fix that later uh, it actually made a problem on one of the other footings when I poured the cement which I forgot to turn on the camera for pouring the cement so we're gonna go directly from uh, and you see I kept keeping the measurements straight and everything but you can see going from there to yep there's footings with little uh, anchors in them with threads on top and yeah I forgot to record that section but this is the next morning the cement is hard I put little blue tape on the top of those anchors to keep the cement off the threads so that they would work in the morning and uh, here are these little brackets actually keep the wood off of the cement footings which helps it last a lot longer and this wood when we bought it it was uh, billed as something for indoor and outdoor and uh, it is not treated wood but it is clear coated so it's pretty well protected I just don't want it to let water set between the wood and the cement and, and obviously not down in the cement but um, just making sure my placement is good making sure there's room for two screws to go in every post these are like two and a half by two and a half like what, what, what would that be three by three posts kind of a substandard post in most of my jobs but uh, once I got them in about the right place I went ahead and tightened down the uh, bolts and they tightened up beautifully every single one of them I was very excited occasionally I have some that don't quite catch you know the bolt is a little loose and moves slightly but none of these move they were solid in so yeah, I'm very excited to finally get these things screwed in. Like I said, I put two screws in each leg and uh, got this thing secured in. The uh, grapes, hopefully the grapes will be growing all over this thing here pretty soon and just taking over. Like I said, this thing sat for a year until I, I was waiting for a clear coat project to come up and finally these pro two projects coincided and I just decided to throw it in there with it and get it all done at one time. Yeah, get those grapes on there. Come on, grapes. So here I'm cleaning up some of the excess cement because remember this is the next day so it's all hard and uh, you don't want to leave that stuff there. Now, now the yellow cardboard tubes are actually biodegradable. They will actually decay in the in the elements over time uh, we have some in the backyard that have that are a year old that are starting to come off I can go in and cut the, the cardboard off if I want to I hadn't been doing that I've just been letting it set which you can see in my garden tours for the raised beds on occasion but uh, once everything is cleaned up around here 
I uh, used some of the sand that I dug out and I just piled it around the tubes and uh, you can see over here on the other side that pack one is with the one that was moving in the hole and uh, so I had forgotten to put sand around that one specifically but I didn't put much around the other the front two here but using the hose you can wash it down in and and pack it the water packs the sand in and makes it real solid and once all that sand goes in and no more sand will go in this thing is ready for its life we're both very excited about this hey if you want to keep up with the progress uh, please subscribe if you have not already if you have subscribed appreciate your subscription uh, and uh, appreciate you watching uh, both subscribing and watching help grow the channel and uh, if you think this is uh, informational entertaining or educational or inspiring please click the thumbs up and share it on your social media if you think you have friends that might enjoy seeing this process uh, it's just as I said in the very beginning this is less an instructional video than it is a uh, just celebration of a task done Thank you.